Hello, pain stream. So doing one of these jump in videos, I was uh, taking some time off from the books because I have so many videos to upload um, with quotes from the books. <laughs> it'll take me a year, I think, to upload them. I don't know, I have like 75, so it'll take me 75 days. But I probably won't upload one every day because they take a long time to upload. Anyway, enough of my problems. Um, but I wanted to jump in with some of these things that I hear and or read or come by across the day and I seem to come by them every day but um, today I came by a number of things it was my uh, my friend's wake my friend who um, by the time you see this it'll probably be the summer and today is January 8th I uploaded I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I uploaded the video already um, talking about it. It was the first video after New Year's Eve because she died on New Year's Day. And um, I, because I thought it was really important um, because I do talk about, you know, life is short and a lot on the videos that I haven't uploaded yet. But in real time, you know, I'm experiencing one of these moments where life is short. She was 46 and just, just gone. And that could be me, that could be you. It might not be me, that might not be you. But it could be, you don't know. That's, that's the whole point of it, right? That's what keeps life exciting. Do you plan for the future? Do you live for today? What do you do? I don't know gotta do both right um, we have to enjoy every day whatever it is you choose to focus on I think there should be a balance of both um, so on her mass card she's Christian we're a Christian mostly Christian town and um, her mass card had the poem of footsteps on it I'm not gonna read it cuz it's gonna make me cry but I, I'm, I read it on another video <laughs> that I haven't posted yet. Well, maybe by the time I post this one, it will be posted already. Um, and I'm pretty sure it made me cry. So, God, not falling into that trap twice. Fool me once. I walked down the street, fell in a hole. That's from another video that I haven't posted yet. But by the time this video gets posted, you'll probably hear it. Um, it's all good stuff. It's all the same stuff. It's just different words, right? Um, so some other things I came across today. And again, you know, I didn't want to do another video today, but um, I'm feeling mushy. And so I wanted to express. And this is how I do it. Now, this is how I do it now that I found this outlet and I look at the videos and I say afterwards uh, do I post this stupid video <laughs> I look like a mess and I say stupid stuff and get emotional and be a jerk usually I say yeah post it because well usually I say to my boyfriend should I post this <laughs> and he's like yeah that's real that's raw and I'm like, okay. He's clearly the more artistic. Um, I, I don't know how to describe it. But the more artistic, um, connected one. And I'm the more conservative, like, mm, who's going to see this? What's it going to look like? What are they going to say? What are they going to think? Um, but then he says yes, and I go, okay, I'll do that. And I'm glad that he does, because that's something that I needed in my life. And, um, and it's good. So I saw this today, and I thought it was beautiful, and I wanted to share it. <sighs> what is the difference between I like you and I love you? Beautifully answered by Buddha. When you like a flower, you pluck it. 
But when you love a flower, you water it daily. One who understands this understands life. When you like a monkey, you'll put it in a cage. When you love a monkey, you'll take care of its habitat and make sure that it survives. When you like people, you will get from them whatever things you think you can, that you want. But when you love them, you will make sure that they're happy and healthy and that they thrive. Think about that. Think about that. Pluck it. When you like a flower, you pluck it. How many flowers have I plucked? I feel badly about that, right? Flowers are living things. They have um, vibration. They actually have a vibration, um, what I read, and I have to look f over the research get where I learned this um, the frequency of a rose oh I, I wish I had this reference something where the frequency of a rose is some of the highest frequencies of any living thing in the world and that makes total sense to me and the theory is the higher the frequency the closer to the divine and it makes total sense to me I love love smelling roses and who doesn't and what woman doesn't most women do and, and I'm not saying you're wrong if you don't um, but you know there is something divine about it it's fleeting it's it's um, temporary everything is temporary moonstruck 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 the movie for the ages. You want to learn about love and life and humanity? Watch Moonstruck. Hello, everything's in there. Everything is temporary. I'm not the monument of justice. And then Nicolas Cage goes on some diatribe about love and it's fabulous. And I was young, when I was young, I was like, that's not love. But then now I'm older and I'm like, yes. We're here to, you know, F things up and and try things and do things and experience things and, and enjoy things. That's how you learn. Um, and if you learn without doing all those things, God bless you. You have a leg up on all of us. Congratulations. I'm not, I'm not trying to take anything away from you for sure. But I hope you're having as much fun as, as we are. <laughs> but with that fun comes comes a lot of pain, just so you know. Balance, everything's balanced out, um, always. So, yeah, so about the roses, you know, how many men um, revile getting their women roses? Because women love roses. Well, some women love roses. And, um, they're beautiful and they smell good and you get that vibration from it the frequency and not that it's good that you cut them because you're killing them but um, but that's how it's kind of evolved with our holidays especially Valentine's Day and um, how many men are resentful of that right because why am I spending all this money on something that's gonna die blah 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 waste of money but you're missing the point. One, a gift is not for you. It's for the person you're giving it to. Um, it's funny, at Christmas, Greg asked me about this um, Dyson hairdryer. He's like, you know, my boss's wife wants this Dyson hairdryer for $400. And what should I tell him? Like, he doesn't want to get it. And I was like, well, I have it. <laughs> Tell him it's not worth it. Um, 
No, listen, if you work, if you're Dyson, it's a wonderful hair dryer, don't get me wrong, but $400 is a lot of money. I don't, I don't personally see the difference, the $300 difference between that and the $100 hair dryer, personally. This is my review. Um, but I'm glad I have it. I mean, I, it does dry my hair more quickly. But, um, but you know, but that's a lot of money for a hair dryer. And it, that's what his boss was saying. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to get this for her. This is stupid. And, um, you know, I said, well, tell him to get her diamond earrings then. He can get wonderful diamond earrings for the same price. And I promise you she'll forget the hair dryer. You get a woman anything that shiny, she doesn't care. She's not going to care about anything else. She'll forget all about that hair dryer. But uh, he's like, well, no, he doesn't want to do that. And I was like, okay, I go, well, tell him to get the hair dryer. It's not for him. Like his, the opportunity to give his wife a gift is not his chance to judge her, right? It's, it's for him to give her something she wants. That's a gift. A gift is not a chance to judge. It's just not. I don't know what to say. I mean, you could judge all the time. You probably do. Um, but a gift is not the time to do that. So you can either get her the diamond earrings which will make her forget about the hair dryer, or especially if it's like with a heart or with like the kids' birthstones or whatever, um, or like I love you so much, or like past, present, future, whatever. Whatever her friends are getting that she, you know, or that her friends aren't getting that she can get, that she can show them, look what I got, he loves me so much. Um, but if you're not gonna do that, get the hair dryer. What's the, you're making money, who cares? Anyway, so the roses. If you don't get it, you don't get it. And there's a shame that you don't get it. But it doesn't mean that people who want it are wrong or crazy or silly. They just understand things differently than you and appreciate different things than you. Um, and they might be a little more advanced than you. How about that? Um, didn't think about that, did you? No. Um, but the killing of them, yeah, that's where I have the problem. So I went to, um, <clears throat> in at Portland, they have a rose garden. It's a massive, gorgeous rose garden. I took like 200 pictures of roses and everyone is like, there's no pictures of you. There's just pictures of roses. I'm like, yeah, they're the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. And I wanted to capture them and the pictures can't even capture the beauty of them. And I want to remember them forever. They were amazing. So I recommend going to the uh, Portland Rose Garden. Ridiculous. Phenomenal. So 13 minutes <laughs> on and on about this five line. When you like a flower, you plug it, says Buddha. But when you love a flower, you water it daily. One who understands this understands life. That's the truth. Next. Next thing I learned today that I wanted to share. If it comes up. Here we go. Oh, I know what it was. I think I mentioned this before, but I didn't have a reference. Um, and I may not have. I don't know. But I'm going to do it today. So there's a song by... Um, I think I was watching a video of Eckhart Tolle and Ram Dass <clears throat> and he mentioned um, the song Anthem by Leonard Cohen and the refrain says there is a crack in everything there is a crack in everything that's how the light gets in that's how the light gets in That is like a ridiculously amazing and so insightful and just blows my mind that he wrote that. Um, because you may be going through hard times and that's why I'm doing this, right? I, I'm, I'm hoping that this gets to people and speaks to people who are going through difficulty. 
and you feel broken and you feel cracked and you feel burned and you feel tossed on the rocks and you feel, and these are all things that we said already, right? If I post this in order. Um, <clears throat> if not, look at all the things you have to look forward to. Crashing on the rocks, burning the fire, great stuff. Um, but, but the point is that there is a crack in everything. There's a crack in you. There's a crack in me. And that's how the light gets in. That's how the light gets in. And it's true. It's painful and it sucks and it's beautiful and it's magical and it's blessed and it will lead to your happiness, I promise you. If you can't feel it now, I promise you. I promise you. So in the intro video, I talked about my friend who um, I met in Costa Rica who um, had gone through a horrific divorce as well. And I was able to, I don't want to say coach, but I was able to, you know, talk her through, like, it, I promise you it's gonna be okay, I promise you, I promise you, you, this, you, I know how physically painful this is. This, is. this, this hurt that you think is just uh, emotional. It's not, your emotions affect your body. Your brain and your emotions tell your body what to do. And it tells your body to prepare for something awful. And it does, and it does that by putting all systems on blast. And, and if it does that for a long period of time, it taxes your body and it becomes painful. It's all very clear to me now, it wasn't when I was going through it. Um, But now, many years later, I can't believe how long it's been already, but um, at least two years later, yeah, she's happy. She's over that. She's healthy. She's on the road. She's on the road. She's on the right path, that's for sure. So keep in mind, if you're cracked open and there's a crack and it feels like you're bleeding out or you're drowning, you're either bleeding out the crack or water's rushing in and you're drowning. That's okay, let it, let it happen. Let it happen because that's where the light comes in. And the light is healing and the light is love. And you, when you embrace it, That's where peace, joy, and contentment come in, and you don't need anything else. And then you share that with other people, and you try to make them better too. Smart. Peace out.